you know, because they would be experiencing something that they never experienced before. That's what beginnings are all about. At the beginning, you're walking into something that you haven't walked into before. And so beginnings can be scary. You know, oftentimes the babies, when they uh, enter into new spaces, they hold on tight to their parents. And I would argue sometimes that's even the case when we're trying to operate and do for God, we look out there into the unknown and God is trying to release us into some spaces and into some things. But because of our anxiety, fear, we try to hold on tight to God. You know, we, we you know, but God is trying to release. You remember, you remember, here it is, Jesus has been resurrected. Yeah, as the old folk would say, third day morning, he's been resurrected. He's on the other side of resurrection. He has uh, walked and talked with all of the people, but finally he is about to ascend. He has his disciples with him out there. He has already given them instructions. I want you to go to Jerusalem and wait till you are endued with power. But they see Jesus ascend, the Bible says, and they stand there and stare. Because here is the reality, even though Jesus has been walking with them for three years, this starts the beginning of their journey. You know, the things that Jesus has been uh, pressing on them, putting in their heart, telling them that they need to do these things. Those three years were a time of preparation, but now they are launching out into their own operation, their own business, their own ministry. And Jesus goes, he says, I must go, but they don't want him to go. They want to hold on tight to him because they are afraid in this moment to walk in their new beginning. You know, the thing that stifles many of us from moving into our new beginning is because sometimes we try to hold on to things that we need to let go. Isn't it interesting that Jesus says, you got to let me go in a physical construct? You see, he promises to be with them, but in a physical construct, he says, I cannot stay. I must go. But the text says that they glaze, they're staring up into the sky so much and so long that an angel has to come back and say to them, why are you standing here? Why aren't you pressing into your new beginning? And I thought about that because it's so interesting how when God is trying to push us into the new thing that God is trying to do in our life, this new beginning, Sometimes we get super spiritual and we come up with all of the platitudes, but at the end of the day, it's really we don't want to begin. 